Welcome to the channel. I shot this the other day and I thought I'd share it with you. It's a bit strange and it doesn't really fit into what I do, but you know, here it is. Let me show you. Isn't that beautiful? What do you think it is? You're wrong. I mean you're right, but you're also wrong. See that third little barrel there? This is a combination gun. In Germany we call these things a drilling. This particular one is a Sauer und Sohn. It's in 7x57R. The R is the rim at the end. And that is obviously so that this thing can eject it just much like you would uh, eject uh, a shotgun shell. Uh, the two barrels are both 16 bore. I don't own any ammunition for them. It's just a great gun to shoot. It's, it's good fun. It's weird because, you know, the balance is different because you have the cylinders on top. And the rifle is, is, is somehow lower. If you have a look where the rifle barrel is, the rifle barrel, if we draw a straight line, will continue to about here. So the whole balance of the gun, you'd expect the barrel up there, but it isn't. It's lower. It's, it's a bit like shooting in, a, you know, it's like shooting an AR-15, because the barrel goes straight into the uh, uh, stock tube, which goes into the shoulder. It's a kind of like a straight line. And so instead of when you shoot, instead of doing this sort of thing, it, it just, you know, it's different. It's, it's very different. So yeah, I shoot it rarely. Operation. Right now we are cocked. And we can see we're cocked because all three barrels firing pin, firing pin indicators up. See these little brass tacks. So we'll take that. See that, that little guy? That one just dropped. So that chamber is now empty. And if we pull the uh, rear one, Oh, we did pull the real one. The front one I'll leave. Okay, and if we now switch, see, if we wanted to switch barrel to shoot the rifle, see this bit in here? If I push that, the rear sight here is going to flip up. Watch, it's quite elegant. See, up it comes. So now we're shooting the uh, barrel that's underneath for the rifle. And if we drop that again, then of course here is the left cylinder and there's the right cylinder for the shotgun, the bore. And that's basically the gun. And then over here, we have a safety. See, safety on, gun is safe, safety off, and we can fire. And we'll look at the chamber. See, interesting, complicated. See, look at that. Clips right in. See, it's actually very comfortable. I always get scared with these uh, scopes because, you know, you, you feel like scope eye is imminent. This gun is from 1957. This scope is a Dialutan Times 4 BMJ Plus. That's a Second World War sniper rifle scope. This is an expensive scope. I fear for it every time I fire this gun. It's one of the curses with this firearms. You, you really can't shoot it anywhere. Everywhere is odd. If you take this to the range and you shoot it, everybody thinks, why is he shooting a shotgun? You know, and if you take this clay pigeon shooting, and I don't intend to ever do it, you're basically waving a gun around, you know, kind of like a, a section one rifle. And that's just bad karma. <laughs> and even if you get permission to do it, it, it's just, why would you? You know, it's just foolish. And the last thing, and this is an interesting one, See that there? That's a rimfire conversion. Never shot that either. It's on ticket, but the trouble is, I'd have to take this to a 25 yard range, shoot rimfire. Okay, you might not have any live ammo, but you're still pointing. The 7x57R, they used to kill elephants with this, I think. What if there's an accidentally somehow around, you know, you go through the backstop? It's a terrible idea. So the only place I shoot this is on a full ball range. If by some incredible freak a shotgun blast goes off, okay, it's no big deal. And if a rimfire shot goes off, also no big deal. Before I put this away, this is always a trouble with these guns, I have to dry fire off each of the cylinders. So we've got three firing pins in there, all in the compression. So first this barrel there. Now that barrel over there, that'll be this pin over here. Now we're gonna pull the uh, switch, goes forward, up goes the little side flag. Now we're shooting uh, the rifle. We'll point down for that, I think. And that is now on the first trigger here. So here we go. 
There we go. And now all three pins are down. And that's how it goes back. And that's it. And that's how it'll stay until it comes out next time. Hope that was interesting. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.